This is the small land. Quite a bit grass growing, wheat. But there are also date palms here, but they're hidden. For instance, we have this little date palm nursery here. Have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven date palms growing. So young banana palms. If you enjoy cutting things with a long knife, this might be a good task for you. It's also probably a good workout. Another banana palm, a semi mature date palm, or it looks like multiple palms, but maybe it's only one. We use the stones like a mulch and ground cover, and also critters can't dig into the roots of the date palm and eat them if we have stone compound like that. And as you can see, this is some of the weed, old weed which from the last time I was here and the weed, if you put it like that the, everything dies underneath and there will be like a lot of bacterial growth and fungi and all these things will create nutrition for the plants so they will grow so I hope the date palms will grow and we will create some rich soil here and what I hope that most is that people won't burn this area we'll do, we will not set it on fire when it becomes dry season and that we can keep it spray free so currently it has been spray free for a year or something so that's quite good so I hope like this area has from my knowledge it has been only sprayed one time while I've been here in, uh, in Lee um, and I hope it will never happen again and I hope they will never turn the soil again here. One time spray, one time turn the soil. I mean the, the weeds are not so bad. The only bad thing is that if it all burns, the date palms will die also. Everything, if this burns, everything burns, everything dies. This here is cassava or cassava. And these will get edible roots. So when there's no food left, there will be cassava roots here. Like, no food left on the planet, but there will still be cassava roots here, edible. Because we planted them here. And the strange thing is that this cassava didn't actually survive here, but the roots, it rooted and it made a little, little child here. And that child is getting leaves, so it will probably survive. Survival of the fittest? Not the fattest. I don't know. Maybe it's true. Like the fattest will survive uh, when there's no food left. They will go in keto genesis and will burn all their fat while the skinny people will die. That's only reason why you would put on fat. If you knew that, okay, there will be a period of time, there will be no food. The weed, as you can see, is taller than me, and I'm one meter and 80 centimeters. But it makes the whole thing biodiverse. So I think it's like, if you want to go into this cycle of growing organic, it's, it's, it's okay, it's good. one of the more mature date palms but it seems like they get some kind of an illness they get like small white spots on the leaves so I don't know if it's an insect or some kind of fungi or whatever they don't grow really well here they are like struggling but maybe their struggle will 
get fruit in the end. Who knows? 